So we are on our way over to Colorado right now. We're going to Denver, Colorado to get my back piece worked on by my friend Landon Morgan. Check him out on Instagram if you haven't already. It's Tattoos by Landon. Uh, he does some pretty sick work and yeah, let's get it. Slip most of it. So the whole design of this tattoo is supposed to be like a role reversal on what we do to animals. So maybe some little baby stuffed in cages as we do to veal or something like that might be fun. But yeah, it's just all the things that we do to animals on a normal basis, but switched roles. Animals are doing it to us. What are your uh, first impressions of the Denver airport? Man, y'all need to get shit together. Talk about hurting cats. Is that an expression, hurting cats? Hurting cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Have you ever been to Denver? I, I did once a long time ago to visit a friend. I didn't hang out here for too long. We just went to the arcade, hung out, had some beers. But uh, yeah, it was all right. Nothing to write home about. Denver, get it. In Denver. How are you? What's happening? What's up, you sexy little thing? Hey, sweetie. How are you? I thought you weren't wearing a shirt when you first popped your head to the window, and that would have been hilarious. Even if it ends up being a consultation day, I really don't care. Like, it, it will get whatever you want to do. I'll show you what I originally had, just so we can both agree upon the changes that need to happen. Those male chicks, they just throw them on a conveyor belt. And right, 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 right. Okay, I, yeah, I can see that now. Alligator wearing human. Human features. Sure. So we had to rework some things because I'm a picky bitch. And uh, yeah, so now it, um, it's about seven o'clock now and we're just now stenciling the back. Uh, so we'll probably be here for a little while. Yeah, yeah stencil on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be picky, especially if it's something this big on your body. I mean, of course, uh, giving free reign to your artist is great, but uh, Landon just didn't know what he was doing, so. Not even one that. <laughs> the first design was absolutely sick. Uh, it just didn't quite fit the criteria that I was going for. Uh, so yes, I'm one of those bad clients, if you will. But it doesn't like symbolism. <laughs> Vegans make extreme comparisons. So I made some extreme symbolism. Symbolisms. Like, damn. Do what you need to do. No, we got gonna, to I'm going to force you into this. I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> force you into shit. <laughs> Look at this Pantera looking motherfucker across the street. Pantera, where? He's definitely a racist. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we do to people every day? Yeah, daddy. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you had something wrong? Or just... Uh, well, I mean, I think the last one, I went, how long was the last one we went for in the back of my leg, back of my thigh, how long was that one? That one wasn't too long. Oh, that one was like two hours? Yeah, that one wasn't too long. I think the... Was back on fast. Yeah. One of the longer ones I went through was uh, quite a few years ago when I worked with Nico Hurtado. We did uh, three sessions, but one of them was like eight or nine hours. Uh, and that was like up on the inner thigh. And that was spicy. For some reason, I really don't mind lines a lot. It's just when you get to that like solid color shading, especially with the rotary, I think that shit, Oh, God. It oh. kills. But uh, yeah, these lines aren't so bad. There are a couple tricky spots. The spine has been interesting. 
All right, that wraps it up for this first session on my back piece. Uh, it is a bit tender, so I'm curious to see how this plane ride's gonna go, but hopefully I can sleep on the way over there, back to Chicago, because uh, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. So uh, I also think the next few people that I tattoo are, are going to have a very easy time. But yeah, stay tuned for part two.